These are some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with Marzi via PDK, a cool banking story. So this uh, person called a JP Morgan office in Florida to specifically ask about the currencies. They took a message and then called him back. Long story short, they asked how much he had and told him he will be very pleased and to expect a call back from them early next week or late this week. I've had a number of those bank stories lately. A number of these calls happened the end of last week and beginning of this week, and we are only at Tuesday now. I firmly believe in my heart of hearts we will get our reset soon. Frank26 says the ATM machines, the old ones, they're online. The new ones, they're not online yet. The old ATM uh, machines, they actually have the software of the new small category notes, and they have the software of the three zero notes. The new ATM machines, thousands and thousands of them, they have the software for the new small category notes, but they don't have it for the three zero notes. Iraqi citizens are running out of time. The new ATM machines will be loaded with the new small category notes. They will eventually be online with the new exchange rate, with the new small category notes, and the timing of the ATM machines and these new note specimens. In my opinion, it's being coordinated. Pimpy says there's no redemption centers, there's no 800 numbers, there's no military intel. The military don't uh, have crap to do with it. There's no tier 1, no tier 2. There's no back, back screens. Nobody has changed the rate. We talk about the different things that affect currencies, and that's all currencies, not just the dinar. We know what affect it, and we pay attention to it to see if Iraq is on track, and they are. Holly, uh, Wednesday RV news. The news is very positive, which uh, we will see this blessing by this week or by the end of this month, uh, which is Tuesday. Walking Stick and Frank26 says the ATM machines and these new denomination notes, they're going to be arriving at banks very soon. It's all being coordinated. Um, they're pushing the citizens to get into the banks to open up accounts. The specimens are not for the ATM machines. That's why they're not in there. They're not legal tender. All right, Breitling question, what are the chances of what occurred in Afghanistan can and will happen in Iraq? WTO or IMF froze all of Afghanistan's government access to their funds. If Iraq goes the way of Afghanistan, the IMF and the WTO freezes Iraq's assets. Iraq is going to have to revalue their currency. And you need to get out as quickly as possible if they do that. Uh, whatever the rate, get out because it's going to go to nothing. Uh, you want an example? Venezuela. All right, and this is a guest guru uh, named Desert Advisor. This Iraqi dinar revaluation uh, wouldn't be so crazy. Well, it kind of would be crazy if this didn't happen this year. GameStop was up a thousand percent return this year. A thousand percent for GameStop. People don't even go buy video games anymore. You just download it straight to your computer game console. Dogecoin, 4,821% return. Seeing stocks go up, cryptocurrencies go up. I wouldn't be in the least surprised to see currencies go up. Iraq looks very strong, very, very strong. Frank26 says, two years ago, international banks got uh, new dinar note specimens. Yes, and now all the banks in Iraq are getting the specimens to display for the citizens. All right, Bruce via Wiser now says it has been relatively quiet out there and for a reason. Um, in fact, it's so quiet that I've been asked to lay low, so to speak, when it comes to talking about currency slash exchanges slash rates. A lot of the things are triggering algorithms with keywords and so on. And they're listening, monitoring, and so I don't want to get in trouble, so I'm going to be careful about what I choose for words. We're getting down to the wire, I believe. We believe the process has moved along far enough to where we could be looking at notifications. All right, lastly, Petra says, yes, the countdown has begun, in my opinion. The international party in Baghdad on the 28th. Uh, lots of interesting things at bay. So why are they all coming? Kings, magistrates, prime, prime ministers, central bank governors, not their representatives, them. Why? So why? You all know. We are not calling that specific day. 
No dates but close before or after this meeting has key logic to it.